Okay, and then, then we go out uh, later on, oh, some weeks later, we went out to see how the cats were doing. We found out that at the Amish farm, and we found out from the my friend out there that the mother cats, just as soon, uh, soon after they got there, the two mother cats, Grandma Cat and Limpy One Ear, just disappeared, just lit out, disappeared. The other cats are getting grown, though. They didn't need them anymore, so they just disappeared, and we figured that they probably headed off, tried to find their way back home, which would be an almost impossible thing for them to do because they didn't have any, uh, they couldn't see where they was going, and I wound around town, and before I went out there, it's about eight, eight, nine miles away from here, from where they live, and I don't see how they could find their way home. We went out and got visited the others, and summer went on, and, and, uh, and there's, here's uh, the countryside where I figured they were. While we were out there, I went up and down the the roadway and called and called to them because if they'd heard me they'd come but they didn't come time then for our fall vacation and we went it was in August I think and we went uh, up to Higgins Lake for a few days oh four or five days we was up there pretty pretty lake and right at our there's this girl that, that robin that baby robin lit on my arm before he we went down there and then, of course, time I got my camera ready, why well, then uh, the we went down the ground with that. And, but in our camp, this squirrel had come up all the time and, and begged for peanuts. And I got his picture, and finally, after you see in a little bit, I got a real close-up of him taking peanuts out of my hand. It was kind of hard to take his picture with one hand and to hold my hand down with the other for him to eat peanuts out of, but I finally made it. Got it. There it are. I'm taking... With one hand, I'm operating the camera, and the other hand, I'm operating, operating the peanuts. Chipmunk. Sure is cute. And a black squirrel did the same thing, only he went off to the side a little bit to eat. Laid down, spread his legs out, probably to cool his belly on the cool ground. It's a pretty lake. Beautiful place out there. Sure is. You get a chance. Oh, Michigan has a lot of beautiful lakes in it. And, of course, we saw a lot of water skiing. I didn't do any. I had did. I have skied in my day, though. But then, oh, look, we got home. Look, there's Grandma Kitty waiting for us. Grandma Kitty. It's been four months. Four months. She's been trying to find her way home. She finally found her way home, sitting there waiting for us. Can you imagine that? Grandma Kitty. All that way. Now... I have pondered and pondered how she ever did it. She probably went this direction and that direction and this direction and that direction. Squirrely tail, he's glad to see her. But I figured she probably went this way, that direction, that, and finally got close enough that she heard the, to- the sound of the town, uh, the siren, and, of course, the sawmill down below us here has a whistle that blows morning, noon, and night. She probably got close enough she heard those familiar sounds and came this way. And then, of course, we're only a couple of blocks from the saw, about a block and a half from the sawmill, and... So then she could find her way home right off. I figure that's the way she found her way home. Just kept trying. Then, of course, I got worried about the limpy one ear. And she was out. And it had been four months now that Grandma Kitty had been trying to find her way home. And limpy one ear still hadn't made it. And I got worried about limpy one ear. And, of course, I prayed for limpy one ear. I was sure pleased to get Grandma Kitty back. And I vowed that I'd never... Give her away again. She loved me enough to come uh, try to find her way back home after all that that time. But I vowed I would never give her away again. And I still got her. And this is a, a, right now, a couple of years since then. A couple of years since then. And she's still having more kittens. <laughs> yeah. Now, I went out to see about Limpy One here, and, and uh, he said that she hadn't showed up. And my Sunday school class and some of the people in it, they, they agreed to pray for her. And sure enough, I went out there when the snow got, got snow on the ground, and she came back out there. And I went out there, and I found her, and I brought her home. And this is the day I brought her home, and she hadn't got out of the car yet. I just left the door shut, and all these other cats climbed up in front of the car to, to look at her through the windshield. And I just sat there, and, and uh, 
They wondered why we don't get out, and I just sat there and took their picture, looking at each other through the windshield. That's limpy one here. Then I let her out, and boy, she's so tickled to get home. She runs around. There's snow on the ground now, of course. Runs around. That Grandma Kitty is glad to see her. And so swirly tail. Grandma Kitty giving her, licking her, washing her up. Show her affection. Show her how tickled she is to have her back home. So the Lord answered prayer, and they both got here. And even the neighbor, a three-legged neighbor dog comes over to see it. Welcome them back home. Yeah, they do. That's their neighbor dog. He, we got him more of him in another show. Tell you how he lost his leg otherwise later on the other show. Then Bingo and they lay and they're they're happy. But then of course, see the. the there, as time goes by and these the joggers go by and uh, winter goes by and more months go by, that we get a, another batch of cats again, another batch of cats. And there, a lot of them black and most of them are black and white like uh, Twirly Tail. And now they're playing King on the Mountain or King on the Stump, that is. And they share a lot of fun. Here comes a gray one up. Looks more like Grandma Kitty. <laughs> I sure thought it was cute. They're up there playing on top of that stump, trying to push each other off. <laughs> Look at them. Oh, that cute. Just like kids. King on the mountain, king on the stump. There's one trying to get out. There he's going down. He didn't make it. <laughs> oh, boy. There's the king. And they get down, and they continue to tussle around. Look. Now, you want cats to give cats something fun to do. Just put an empty box out for them to investigate, and they'll get in and have more fun with it. They'll get in, and the others will play some more king on the box, and one will get in and get out. Then they... Now, when it comes feeding time, watch Katie brings out the feed. That's my wife, Katie. She brings out the feed. They all run and eat on the doghouse. I feed them on the doghouse because then uh, other animals don't get their feed. And when I'm get preparing the feed, they climb on the back, the back, uh, the back screen door. There's one I took pictures inside. There he is, still up on the screen door. See, climb on the screen door to get a look. Then to bring the feed around, look at it. How they scoot. Now watch him jump on and off. So excited! Isn't that cute? Really acrobatic. I hold off a little bit so they do put on the show. But oh, they come a running. Happy for the food. We have something special. That's the way they do. Like some kitchen leftovers and stuff like that. Yeah, we thank God for the cats and the stray cats. And now it's time for us to say goodbye. Till we see you again next time. There's Grandma Kitty again. Meanwhile, be sure you go to church on the Lord's Day. Walk close with God on every day. Love your neighbor as yourself. Be kind to all of God's creatures. And tune in again to join us in some more grand adventures on the TNT True Adventure Trails. Bye now. Thank you.